Hi, uh, my name is Peter Van Heerden. Uh, I'm a performer in Nahanda, a work created by Nora Shapamira. I think it's a it's a one of a kind work that takes you on a spiritual journey through the history of the African body, colonialism, the spirit of Nahanda, but also brings you sort of into the present moment. Uh, ask you to be complicit in the changing the narrative of, of where we're going, I think, historically and what colonialism means and what the African body currently represents. She was like, there's this path around the empire. And, you know, I was like, well, I think I'm the only white person around, so I'll take that part. Um, and then I became what was considered the empire. But um, so then we started working together. And, you know, it's, I think we're in year three now of working on the Honda and taking it around the world. And it's great to be bringing it back to the United States. Having the audience on stage with us helps us generate that conversation. The audience is forced to be part of it. They're forced to move with you. They have to sometimes get out of the way. They have to sometimes engage. They ask to sing. So like it becomes this sort of redirection of the, of a contemporary contextual narrative that we are complicit in. We're forced to engage in. We're forced to really sort of, how do you want to be part of this? Or you don't you want to be part of it? So you can stand passive, then you're a passive voice and then you don't care or do you care? Well, are you afraid to king or do you want to get in and jump in and be a part of it? So I think in our experiences, having done the work and having the audience part of it, some people just get in and go wild and other people stand back and are reticent. And so I think it's, it's a vital part of the energy and peace work. The peace is such a spiritual sort of awakening in a way. You know, the work is very sort of iconoclastic and spiritual and the music is transcendental in some ways. And some of the pieces are like, you know, manifestations on Pungui is like a 24 hour ritual dance that the Shauna do before they go into battle to bless the spirit knowing that you might never come back. So there's an aspect of that in the piece the whole time of like, you know, the body continually in motion, changing itself, manifesting itself, recreating itself. I think it makes it so distinct is that these are people who are in you know, and I say people, these are Zimbabweans, Nora's a Zimbabwean, these are Shona people who are embodying a spirit of the earth, of the place, around the story of Nahanda, and there is still unease or unrest in aspects of the Shona and Zimbabwean culture because of what happened with Nahanda, the fact that her bones are locked away somewhere in Europe, you know, so part of some of the concepts is give us back her bones, give us back what you've taken, and so until that comes back, there's going to be this unsettlement. So I think that plays into the power and the sort of, you know, the, what is the word I want to like, the, the empowerment that the performers put into the piece of like, this is real. This, this is not like, we're not acting something, not been pretending to do something. Everybody is 100% in, in that moment, presenting and producing something from their body, from their core to manifest that change. It should def it will definitely move you in ways that other things won't because you know, like I've said to people, you could close your eyes and you could listen to Nahanda. You could block your ears and you could watch Nahanda. You could close your eyes and your ears and you could feel Nahanda. You know, so it has that like, essence. It's an olive. It's an, it's an every sense sort of work, and that, that's what's brilliant about Nora's work. Is she works in this animus way that the, the body is empowered in a way that I've never sort of worked with and experienced. Come check out Nahanda. We're going to be at the Paramount Center. 17th to 21st of May 2023, Manifest Thinking, Nora Shipamira's Nahanda. Don't miss it. Know what to do in Boston, come check it out.